Hey gang, this is what Myron Golden teaches about how to sell to actually be rich. It's one thing to do business, it's another thing to do smart business. And I sat down in the session and I'm like, no, I have to bring this to the gang. With my notes full, are you ready to learn? If you're at the point where you have done business for years like myself, and these are some of the things that actually I was already getting the nudging to begin to do. So when I heard it, I was like, mm, okay, I need to share this with the gang as well. These are things that I think you should pay attention to. Are you ready? I'm going to do it in three different sections. The first part is the three kinds of people you should sell to. Whether you have a service business or a product business, hear me. These are the three people you should sell to if you want to break even faster and if you want your business to be sustainable. Number one, sell to people who need massive transformation. What does that mean? Look for people who actually need a change in their life, career, whatever, with what you do. For instance, if you are somebody who deals with fitness, maybe you're a fitness coach, don't just market fitness to just anybody. Look for people who are obese, who are really unhealthy and they need help. Go and research how to serve them better, how to help them get results. And you are going to make money in a quantum. Because these are people that they pay anything. Family members can support them to get help because they don't want them to lose their lives. That's one example. Now use that to look at your business. Customize your business to give a massive result to people who need it to save their life or to save their career or to save their marriage or whatever it is that your product is. You get that? The number two people you should sell to are people who are rich. You heard me right. People who are rich. That means the way you pitch your business, the cost for your business, and all that has to change. If you want to make money, position your business as premium and serve people who are already wealthy. Sometimes people say, oh, I teach people how to make money. Rich people don't want to make more money. Who told you? There are no group of people that want to make more money like rich people. <laughs> so I'm just giving you an example. All right? Sell to rich people. That way you sell. Instead of you to sell a product that is a thousand naira, for instance, to a thousand people to be able to make substantial money, money it better you imagine costing your business at a thousand naira and you sell to just 10 people to meet your income goal. It's easier, right? The same marketing goes in, just different style of messaging and contact and association. The third kinds of people you should sell to are people who are in a high emotional state. Yes, people who are in a high emotional state. You know how when somebody um, wants to get married <laughs> and they have the money, they can spend anything, they can pay any vendor just to make their big day fantastic. Those are the kind of people you should market your product to. Market to the families of those people or their sponsors or they themselves and you're going to make money. So why do you want to be, for instance, you want, you're a cake maker and you focus on making cake for just anybody. Focus on people who already are excited about the graduation of their child, for instance, or people who are, you know, getting married, like I said, or in fact, something that blew my mind in, um, as I learned this was, just like the debt business is such a big business. People who are about to bury their loved ones, they want to give them something called befitting burial and they will do anything. They will pay anything to have that pomp and pageantry on that day. Think about it. Sell to people who are on an emotional high that want to do everything or want to go out of their way to spend and be happy for a reason. Don't just sell to people who are like, mm, I think I'll do it or not. You get what I mean. Now let's go to part two. In this part, we're looking at the kind of businesses you need to sell to. The kind of what? Businesses that you need to sell to. Number one, sell to businesses that need your product or service to be able to sell their own product or service. Yes, you heard me. People whose business depends on your own product and services to be able to stay in business. So go sit down on your business and think about those people right now, outline them and go focus on them. The second group of businesses you should sell to are businesses who sell premium prices. For a lot of reasons, they can pay you your money without you know, owing you or asking you to come back again and again. And of course, they can afford to pay you and still put a markup on your money and make their own money. So it's a win-win for everybody. 
businesses who sell premium are less headache, more money for you. All right. The third kind of businesses you should sell to are businesses who need an upgrade on their image. So businesses that want to rebrand, want to look better, want to employ better, want to change their product line, want to introduce new products, who want to improve their customer care. Those people are always big on training, you know, rebranding, anything you propose to them that is in line with what they're looking for because they want to have more stake. They want to also spend money to get that stake, right? So businesses that are looking at upgrading their image and being perceived better have also earmarked money to spend on that rebrand and you could also get a deal with them. Now let's go to part three. The third part is organizations, the kind of organizations you should sell to. This one blew my mind because I was thinking recently about it and then when I heard it, I'm like, okay, this looks like a, a clarion call, right? <laughs> okay, so the kind of organizations you should sell your product and your services to. Number one, government organizations. I, I think you heard that coming. Look at the government in your city, county, country, state. And look for something that the government really is happy about, spending money on, advertising about. Create a product or a service around it and don't be shy, don't be cold feet to propose it to the government. See, government is the only organization that have incentive to waste money in that sense. They are, in fact, they have the license to hype a product like, you know, you want to deliver tissue paper to them and the 200 naira. You can get it as a contract to deliver at 2,000 Naira and nobody is going to question them. You know what I mean? So, what are you waiting for? Sell to government. Sell to government. The number two organization you should look at selling to institutions, universities, tertiary institutions, um, secondary schools, high schools. Usually, again, they have programs for the year. They have budget allocated to them. Even public speaking can get you a lot of money with those kind of organizations. Look at what their programs are for the organization, for their stakeholders, for their students, and then key in to propose as well. And they already have budget for these things and you could be chosen, right? So you show that these people are always on point. Every year they have those same needs. So you don't have to be getting different people at the same time trying to make one sale, but you get one that you're sure that they can even put you on a retainer right the final point and of course not the least in any way which is a third kind of organizations you should sell to and not for profit or you know the way they say ngos not for profit csos those kind of businesses because these people are spending other people's money people's goodwill right so they will go out of their way to make sure that they deliver the dividends of what their cost is about so selling to them you know is easier you make more money, they spend a lot of money, they usually have a budget for the year. So if you fit into their product and what they need or the service for the year, they will patronize without the back and forth because they are not really business oriented in that sense. They just want to deliver services to humanity. You get, try me on this because this is something I also have an experience with. In fact, let me give an example that I also heard. There's a young man who, of course, looked at an organization and the cause that they are focused on, which is on maternal health. And he wrote a book called Maternal, the Maternal Journal, right? And proposed it to this organization and they bought 2 million copies. Now, this is a man. He has never given birth and can never give birth. He has never experienced childbirth or maternal or anything, but he cashed into what was the pain point for this organization and made money, right? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Go right away. And of course, feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section. And let's talk about this even further. And let me know if any of this makes sense to you. Okay? Until I come your way again. Ciao. Thank you.